Hello everyone. Welcome to this new video of advanced charting techniques. In this video, I'll be explaining you how to make beer chart using MS Excel. Now let's see how this beer chart works. So here I've already created one chart. So let me just change the value here. So depending on this value, the content of this beer will be keep changing. See? Suppose if I go here and mention something, then I can get something like this. So, how to create this? So, I'll explaining you this in detail how to create this chart. But before that, if you're still not subscribed to our channel, please subscribe and also click on the bell button next to it so that you'll get the notification of the more interesting videos like this, what we um, you know upload in our YouTube. Okay, fine. So let's start learning how to create this chart. So I have created one table here. So what we'll do is we'll start from beginning how to create this beer chart. So we have created few options here. That is mug, which you can see this mug and the bottom, this value and the beer. What you see this beer, the content. And if the value reaches this point, then I should get this form. So what we'll do is here, I'll just give some value same value will say 110 then bottom will say 20 and we are let's say some 95 <clears throat> and here i have this form i'll give some 10. now what we'll do we'll select this and say insert here i'll insert a stacked column chart let's increase this so i have this mug then bottom then beer and foam. So what we'll do is we'll convert this into stack chart. That is by clicking on this, say go to design and say switch row to column. So I'll get a chart like this, which is stacked one above the other. Now for the images, what we have here, I have already downloaded few images. You can download it from net. I'll go here. I'll say insert pictures, and then I'll take this mug, then texture of this beer and then the foam texture and say insert so i've taken these textures here a mug this is a foam texture and the beer texture so we'll try to copy and paste the, the image here with this series so what i'll do is i'll just copy this mug the image what i have downloaded so you'll get these kind of images in uh, internet you can just download it and you can use it so i'll just copy this and here, if you go, and you can see that mug. I'll just select that and I'll say Control V. Just say Control C and Control V. It'll get pasted here. Now we'll go to this. Let's leave this bottom as is. We'll take this beer texture and I'll paste it here in this series. Right. Now let's take this foam. I'll just copy this and I'll select here. In this foam, I'll say Control V. Fine. So I pasted all the images. Now, if you want, you can keep this or you can delete it. Now, let me select this. Say right click, say format data series. I'll make it no, no fill. Right. Now, let's right click any of these series. So, change series chart type. I'll make all these series into secondary access except this mug. Let me change this. Select this. All these three. And I'll say okay. So what will happen is they'll sit one above the other, and the mug will be of primary axis. If you see this axis values here, the primary axis says from 0 to 120, and here it says 0 to 140. Let's make it equal together so that it will plot the chart properly. Let me select this, right click, and say format axis. Here it says 0, and here it'll say 140. Let's select this and I'll say 0 to 140. So now the axis values are same. Now I'll go here. I'll remove this grid lines and I can remove this axis values and I'll remove all this. Now I'll get this image. Now if you go and see the texture, the beer texture and the mug is actually not aligning properly. So what we'll do is we'll go here, let's say 90. See? Now it is coming properly, but when I reduce this, say to 80, still I can see that foam. So 
So what we'll do is this foam should appear only when it is filling the bottle. So we'll change this instead of 10, I'll say equals if this value, that is the beer value is greater than or equals to 90, then I'll say 10, otherwise zero. See, now the foam texture is not visible. Now let me go here and I'll say 90, see, now the foam texture will be appearing. But it is exactly coming towards this, the exact uh, line of this bottle. So here I'll go, if I press this, say 100, it will go beyond the bottle, which it should not happen. Next, what we'll do is we'll select this. So the user should not en enter more than 90. I'll go here, I'll go to this data and I'll give a data validation saying the whole number, the value should be from zero to 90. And in this error alert, I'll say here chart, you cannot pour beer more than 90 ml. Say okay. Now let me go here and I'll change this to 60. And let's say I'll try to enter 100. See, now I'll get a message saying that I cannot enter more than 90. Right. That means this is working. Now if you go and check, let me put this 90. So 90 is allowed, but still you can align this properly. So what I'll do is select this, right click and say format data series. Try to adjust this so that it looks still more better. See? Yes. Now I can change the value. Let's say I'll make it 50 or again I'll say 90. Right? Okay. So this is about the chart. Now if you want to give more, uh, you know, formatting and give some background. So what I can do is I'll select this, say, right click, format chart area, and we'll say picture or texture. Let me click on this and I'll say insert. Here, I've just downloaded few backgrounds. So automatically this has been selected. See, this way you can do, or you can change it to any of the backgrounds change this background so whichever you feel nice you can put this so i guess this is looking good i'll just keep this yes so this is how you can create a peer chart now i can just delete this yes so now my peer chart is right right hope you like this video so if you like this, please like and subscribe and cheers. Thanks for watching this video and please do subscribe and click on the bell button. Uh, we'll give you more interesting and, uh, um, you know, unique vi uh, videos like this. Thank you.